Let's regard it Cristiano Ronaldo because I mentioned it the other day on the podcast. So Cristiano Ronaldo, player for Man United, has been going through a little bit of a a little bit of a weird situation where effectively he's been angling for a move outside of away from Man United, but he hasn't necessarily made that clear to the fans. The club is basically reiterating they don't want to sell him, and some fan, some of our portion of our fan base are basically hoping it's all not true and kind of burying their heads in the sand. But from what we can ascertain from the leaks that are coming out, from the fact that Ronaldo turned up to the club training session the other day for a big meeting that was attended by Sir Alex Ferguson, um, people were saying Paul Gascoigne was there, the Queen arrived, all the members of the board. Like it was a big meeting that basically they had at the club where essentially they were trying to clear the air and get some understanding as to where everybody stands and I think someone reported that in that meeting Eric Ten Hag and his staff were basically showing Christian Ronaldo the plans of what the club wants to do going forward and how they want to basically mold the team around him and kind of assuring him that you know they have him kind of in their plans going forward which is a bit embarrassing that they'll jump through so many hoops for a 37 year old Ronaldo if this was a Ronaldo who was 28 29 fair enough but a 37 year old Ronaldo the club bending over backwards and twerking for him in this regard is just a little bit embarrassing but it also goes to show where we are as a club overall so the update here concerning um this is courtesy of sky sports is at christian ronaldo i first commentary then by munich both rule out a move for the main night forward these clubs came out categorically and said so both of their people involved in the boardroom level i think for Bayern munich i think it was oliver khan they came out specifically and commented on the rumor so if they're commenting on rumors i'd imagine there is some weight behind them and the fact that the club hasn't said anything concerning ronaldo's exit or Ronaldo hasn't said anything is a little bit annoying but I guess he's trying to protect he's trying to have his cake in here too he wants to be loved and adored by the fans but he also wants to pursue his um, personal kind of career glory goals right which is basically he wants to have a one last hurrah or a couple of last hurrahs of trying to win the league and maybe competing for the Champions League but the last thing he wants to do is play Thursday you know football with us being in the Europa League but when he signed for May night he should have known that was always going to be a, a possibility and the fact that we finished you know, in a position where we were in the Europa League. And then he basically told, I think, from what people are saying, he told Eric Ten Hag that he could count on him. Now to change your mind is a little bit scummy. But again, what should we shouldn't expect anything different because Ronaldo's always by, always by himself, in it going forward. But um, just as we, just to kind of put it out there for myself anyway, I would much rather see him go. I'd much rather we just start from a clean slate, even if that means we go into the new season with just one striker in Chris, in basically anti Martial in terms of a recognised forward. Maybe you could say Rashford's a forward too, but not really because he's been playing more so as a winger in this new system that Ralph Ragnick has got, sorry, that um, Ayrton Hag has got. So if it was up to me, I would tell Ronaldo, bye-bye, sayonara. Let's just start for a fresh, maybe promote a kid up from the youth ranks to be a, maybe a supporting cast member in terms of the strikers we have or get someone else in loan who's with a journeyman who can maybe fill in and give, you know, Martial arrest when he gets injured or when he gets injured if when he gets injured or when he has a loss of form or whatever during the season but relying and kind of pinning all our hopes on Ronaldo is really I think a mistake and I think even if we convince, even if we convince him to stay for sure we'll go for a dry spell for sure we'll go through a bad form a, a bad spell a bad form for sure we'll go on a run of you know bad losses for sure he'll probably get dropped for a couple of games and then you're going to have a real problem on your hands because Ronaldo clearly is the player who takes well to like being dropped or being left out of the squad so to avoid all those issues and of course the issue with Maguire and the loyalties in the change room and the divided you know camp whatever just get rid of the guy shake hands say it's been nice and let him leave but you know I guess commercially, the guy just generates too much money for the club who's not in the Champions League for him to let him go in that regard. I get it. But hey, the article says as follows. Christian Ronaldo held talks over the Man United future with boss Eric Ten Hag on Tuesday. As the left come and Bayern Munich both ruled out a move for the forward. The 37 year old arrived at United's Carrington trading ground with his agent Jorge Mendes on Tuesday morning for talks. Former United manager Alex Ferguson was also seen arriving, but it's understood that he was there for a regular board meeting with the Chief Executive Richard Arnold. Yeah, right. Ronaldo returned to the UK on Monday after missing the club's preseason tour of Thailand and Australia due to family reasons, with the explanation accepted by the club. There he is coming in, of course, with his agent, Jorge Mendes, who's continuously tanned. There's never not a time where he's not fucking oily and brown. So he just spends his entire time on his laptop in some fucking, you know, sunny location somewhere being fed grapes and sealing deals. So if he's there, for sure, 
you know, Ronaldo's going to leave because he means business. Ten Hag admitted he was unclear of the situation ahead of the tour, but Ronaldo is now back in United setup after training away with us from the squad in recent weeks. The Portuguese captain has told United he wants to leave the summer amid concerns he'll be unable to compete for the biggest trophies of the club. Um, but United's stance regarding Ronaldo's future has remained unchanged. United are willing, to, are willing to listen to offers for Ronaldo this summer. I'm happy to understand, but the club's public stance remains that he's not for sale. The funny thing about it is that he wants to leave, but from what we've seen so far, no real club has come in for him because A, his wage demands are too much and two, he's just too much baggage. In the same way that a Messi would be too much baggage for most clubs because at their age, you know, they can't exactly compete or push themselves at the level that they could in previous years. Most clubs around the world play that pressing, fast, counter-attacking type of football anyway. So they're going to want players who are going to be on the front foot all the time. And if you don't have those players, when you play one of these guys in Messi or Ronaldo, you're essentially playing with 10 men because they're not exactly going to be pressing for the front foot or running up and down every 10 minutes and stuff. It's not going to happen. It's not likely. And of course, for the calibre of player that they are, and from what they've done in the past and from what they're possible to do in the future, they command an incredible, incredible amount of wages. I think Ronaldo at the club now is on like £400,000 or something a week or something, right? Insane amount of money. And not a lot of clubs can afford that at the moment, especially now in the post-pandemic world. So he's kind of priced himself out of a move for being so good. And he's priced himself out of a move for being too old. Do you know what I mean? Like football's kind of moved on. So it's a weird position that Messi and Ronaldo are both in where like, in maybe yesteryears, they probably would have retired already, so there wouldn't be an issue. But they're also super fit and keep themselves in good nick. And they can, but they also think, and it's believable, that deep down they're probably better than the MSL. They're better than playing in the Arab League. Um, they're better than going to China. They can still compete for top honours in the top clubs, but they're going to need to play for a club that doesn't mind having them play and not really contribute much to the club defensive wise or whatever it may be and just being up there up front and just kind of knocking the goals in and unfortunately there's not a lot of teams that do that nowadays everyone kind of needs to play their part so it's a weird situation to be in if you're Ronaldo because you can put, you obviously can do it because you proved it last season he scored 18 goals for a very shit United team um, in one of the toughest leagues in the world so that's proof he can still do it but it doesn't really tell the whole story it continues. Ten Hag said in Bangkok of Ronaldo was one of his one had one year remaining, but uh, it continues here. I feel like Madrid didn't yeah rule out. So I feel like Madrid and Bayern Munich have both ruled themselves out of a move for sign Ronaldo. Atletico were linked with the move with a five time Bando winner, but the president Enrique Cerezo has labelled the move for Real Madrid icon practically impossible. Um, I've already said it several times. I don't know who invented the Cristiano story, but I'll tell you that it's practically impossible that he comes to Atletico Madrid, Madrid. The rumors are rumors, and that they stay and that they have stayed there for months. If you keep on feeling the rumors, that eventually it will look like something is real, which is not. Meanwhile, buying Chief Executive Oliver Kahn, crazy, right? It's come out and also said. Despite initial consideration, so there was considering uh, moving for him, and after losing star striker Robert Lewandowski to Barcelona, the Bundesliga champions were not pursuing a move for Ronaldo. Earlier in July, Kahn told German kicker that Ronaldo does not fit the club's recruitment policy philosophy, and he reiterated the remarks in the interview with Bild. We discussed Ronaldo internally. I consider him one of the greatest players ever, said Khan. Then he came to a conclusion that despite appreciation of a player, he would not fit for our philosophy in the current situation. And to be honest, he shouldn't have fit Man United's philosophy either. It really was a golden handcuff. We weren't ready for a player of his calibre. And I think when he when he sat down and had that interview where he basically lambasted the club's lack of ambition and called us out, we all agreed. But it was also fairly obvious that that was going to happen because the United that he left was not the United he came back to. So the fact that we signed him just to spite Man City was really a bad idea, in my opinion. And it ended up costing us in the long run because now we are hang strong with a player who... I think it's going to end up causing us more issues than actually solving issues going forward. And it looks like he's essentially priced himself out of most moves around Europe, unless he wants to take a hefty, hefty pay cut, which I don't you know, blame him for not wanting to take because you're Cristiano Ronaldo. You shouldn't take pay cuts. You know what I mean, I get it.